Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to crochet this easy summer bucket hat, as well as how to crochet a perfect round circle. This hat fits in average doll. I also have other sizes available on the widen pattern, and the link is in the description box. For this project, you need cotton yarn. And I'm using the one from We Love Yarn. Each little ball is about 50 grams, which is about 170 meters long. And this is a number one super fun yarn, which means the yarn is very thin. And I use about two and a half balls of the pink. I also use a little bit of gray from a different brand. And these are all the same size, a four millimeter hook. A pair of scissors, yarn needle, and it also would be a good idea to have a measuring tape around. Lastly, this is my crochet ring. With this, I can crochet for hours without putting down my hook. It helps to protect my finger when I crochet, so that the yarn is not pulling my finger. I highly recommend it if you crochet a lot. The link is in the description box along with the materials. All right, let's get started. I'm using two strings of yarn because the yarn I'm using is very thin. And let's begin by making a magic circle. And voila. From here, one chain. Then place a half double crochet into the magic circle. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through three loops. That's one. Again, half double crochet. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now that we have a half double crochet, pull the tail to close the circle. To begin round two, slip stitch into the first stitch. One chain, and we'll do this on every round. Then in the same stitch, place two half double crochet. One. Two. On the next stitch, two half double crochet. Again, two half double crochet into the next stitch. On this round, we're increasing by placing two half double crochet into every stitch. By the end of the round, there will be sixteen stitches, and I meet you. On round three. On round three, slip stitch into the first stitch. One chain. Place a half double crochet into the same stitch. Increase. So two half double crochet on the stitch. One. Two, half double crochet, increase, and this is the repeat. By the end of the round, there will be twenty-four stitches, and I meet you on round four. 
To begin round 4, slip stitch into the first stitch, 1 chain. Place a half double shade into 1, 2 stitches. Increase on the third stitch. Half double shade into two stitches. Increase. And this is the repeat. By the end of the round, there will be 32 stitches. And I meet you on round 5. On round 5, I have already joined the round. Place a half double crochet into 1, 2, 3 stitches. Then increase on the 4th stitch. Half double crochet into 3 stitches. Then increase. And repeat this all around. By the end of the round, there will be 40 stitches. And I meet you on round 6. Round 6 is where we start to do things differently. And by now, you should know the sequence of every round is increasing by 8 stitches. On this round, it's 4 half double crochet, then increase. So after we join the round, place a half double crochet into 2 stitches. Because 4 divided by 2 is 2. And we are only doing this on even numbers. Increase. And this is to avoid to increase into the same stitch on every round. From here, place a half double crochet into 4 stitches. Increase on the 5th stitch. And repeat this, half double crochet into 4 stitches. Then increase on the 5th stitch. And I meet you at the end of the round. At the end of the round, after I did the increase, I have 2 stitches left. Place a half double crochet into the last 2 stitches. And there should be a total of 48 stitches. To begin round 7, slip stitch, 1 chain. The repeat for this round is, place a half double crochet into 5 stitches. Then increase. By the end of the round, there will be 56 stitches, and I meet you on round 8. Round 8 is similar to round 6. The repeat for this round is 6 half double crochet, then increase. Take 6, divide by 2 is 3. So place a half double crochet into the first 3 stitches. That's 1, 2, 3. Increase. Then half double crochet into 6 stitches. Increase. 
The repeat for this round is 6 half double crochet, then increase, and half double crochet into the last 3 stitches, and there will be a total of 64 stitches. And continue with the pattern to increase into round 12, and I meet you on round 13. At the end of round 12, I have 96 stitches. And as you can see, my crown is perfectly round. And my crown measures about 6.5 inches. And this fits the majority of adults. For the next 12 rounds, place a half double crochet into every stitch. No increasing for 12 rounds. And I meet you on round 26. This is how my hat looks like at the end of round 25. I join the round. And I also cut yarn. From here, I'm going to attach a new color into the first stitch. Pull through and tie a knot. Insert your hook, pull through the yarn, one chain to begin the next round. Place a half double crochet into every stitch. By the end of the round, we still have the same number of stitches of 96. And I meet you around 27. To begin round 27, slip stitch into the first stitch. One chain. On the first stitch, first post, place a front post half double crochet. Yarn over, insert behind the post like this. Yarn over, pull up a loop. And yarn over. Pull through three loops. On the next stitch, back post half double crochet. Yarn over, insert hook from behind like this. Pull up a loop and yarn over, pull through three loops. Front post. Half double crochet. Back post, half double crochet. Front post, half double crochet. Back post, half double crochet. Repeat this all around and I'll meet you on the next round. At the end of round 27, your last stitch should be a back post, half double crochet. To begin round 28, slip stitch into the first stitch. One chain. On this round, we're doing the opposite of the last round. Last round, we started with a front post, half double crochet. So on this round, we're going to begin with a back post, half double crochet. Then front post. Half double crochet. Repeat this all around. And we'll be doing one more round like this. And round 29 is a repeat of round 27. So make one more round of the front post, back post, half double crochet. And I'll meet you on round 30. Alright, cut yarn after round 29. Basically, the hat looks like a basket. And round 30, we're going to start by attaching the pink yarn into the first stitch. Insert, pull up a loop, one chain, and we're going to begin by placing a half double crochet into three stitches. Increase on the fourth stitch.
half double crochet into 3 stitches. Then increase and repeat this all around. By the end of the round, there will be 120 stitches and I meet you on round 31. Round 31 is an easy round. Place a half double crochet into every stitch. To begin round 32, place a half double crochet into 4 stitches. Then increase. And this is the repeat for this round. Half the book shade into 4 stitches, then increase. By the end of the round, there will be 144 stitches. This is the repeat for the rest of the pattern. Increase for one round, and every time when we increase, we're increasing by 24 stitches. Then half the book shade for one round. So I will not go on to show you, but you can check on the number on the screen for the total number for each round. And I stop after round 35. But you can go on and make the broom wider if you like. At the end of round 35, after the last stitch, I cut yarn. And join the round with a yarn needle. Insert into the first stitch and insert into the back loop of the previous stitch. This way it will give the hat a nice finishing look. And lastly, it will weave in the tail. And voila, the hat is done. Thank you for joining me today. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and the notification bell. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!